Hi guys, welcome back to the Revive Stronger channel. I'm your host as always, Steve Hall, and today we have another exciting roundtable summary for you. What a great episode once again with Mike Israel, Mena Henselman, and Eric Helms. So let's get into the summary points. The first summary point is that getting stronger may well aid muscle hypertrophy because now we're stronger, we can provide more mechanical tension, more load on the muscles and mechanical tension has been seen to be the prime driver for hypertrophy. So if you can get stronger, you can use more weight when you are performing your exercises, which could drive greater hypertrophic adaptations. Summary point number two is staying one to four reps from failure is actually a great way to accumulate lots of volume and you don't really see many downsides when compared to training to failure. The actual additional benefit you get to training to failure doesn't really give you that much more than when if you were to leave a few reps in reserve. So when you are trying to train for hypertrophy, it's probably a good idea for the most part to not train to failure because then you can accumulate more good volume. Point number three is very, very interesting and something that isn't very often talked about is that the fact that females seem to be able to handle five to 10 more sets per muscle group per week when compared to men. This means females can probably do with having higher amounts of training volume. This is probably related to the fact that they are generally weaker. They generally have smaller muscles, so they recover faster and they don't create so much damage. And maybe that they have more t um, slow twitch muscle fibers rather than fast twitch, which again, recover faster. So females can generally do more volume than men and can actually benefit from that as well. Summary point number four is that a lower volume kind of strength phase can actually help for other reasons other than just make you stronger and maybe produce more mechanical tension in future. There's physiological and psychological benefits through going through this lower volume phase. And when you come out of it, you're probably going to find you're more responsive to that higher volume training. You also get that psychological break from super high volumes all the time. And you just find when you're in the gym, pumps are a bit easier to achieve and you just find responsiveness to that higher volume training is now greater. Summary point number five and our final summary point is that your ability to assess how much volume you're able to produce is a good way to assess whether you've grown muscle. So if you're seeing volume PRs, you're hitting volume numbers that you've never been able to achieve before with certain loads, maybe you could only do three sets of 10 with 100 kilos on your bench press. Now you can do four, five, six sets, then you've probably accumulated more muscle tissue. And that's a great way to assess whether you've actually grown new muscular tissue. And more and more, experts within the field are seeing this to be the case. So it's very, very important to keep training logbook notes, and especially on your volume work as a bodybuilder and as a powerlifter, training logbook and notes like this are very, very important to assess your progress and truly making sure you're progressively overloading and moving towards your goals. The favorite quote from this podcast is from Eric Helms, and it's that progression is easier with higher repetitions. And that is a really interesting idea about hypertrophy training, about long-term planning. Now you think about this, is it possible for you to get an extra rep out some of the time? Yes, but what if that was a rep range where you were landing within five to seven reps? How easy is that extra rep? Not very easy. What if that extra rep was within the 15 to 20 repetition range? that extra rep becomes a lot easier because the percentage of increase of volume is actually lower because the, the weight's much lower. So actually sometimes just by increasing the repetition range we're going through can allow you to eke out more progression, eke out more volume and be a really efficacious way for a bodybuilder to keep programming progressive overload and keep growing new muscle tissue. So cheers guys, I hope you enjoyed the podcast if you haven't watched the whole episode. I hope you enjoyed the summary points. As always, if you did, give us a like, give us a subscribe, give us a share. Um, and I hope that you are still enjoying these summaries. Give us a comment below to give us some feedback. And as always, revive stronger.